hope everyone's had a wonderful Sunday. I wanted to share a project that I created yesterday, Saturday, and it was inspired by Kathy from Kathy's Garden on YouTube. She posted a video Tuesday, it was a process video, where she created an easy envelope tag pocket. And she created her tag pockets, the base of her tag pockets are recycled envelopes. Uh, envelopes that have the little windows on them. And uh, I never really considered creating anything with the envelopes, but she definitely inspired me to give it a shot. So here is what I did. And thank you, Kathy, for the inspiration because I thoroughly enjoyed making this uh, envelope tag pocket. Um, all of the papers that I used are 10 to 15 years old. Um, it, they were created by SEI. I don't remember the name of it. I don't even, I, I very seriously doubt that it's available. Like I said, it's like 10 or 15 years old. Um, the majority of the dyes that I used are from the stamp market, my all-time favorite stamping company that's out there. I just love everything that they come out with. Um, I have been so busy in the past few years that I have been hoarding her supplies rather than using them. So it's been nice this summer to actually be able to create with uh, all of the goodies or the various goodies that I've purchased from the stamp market the past couple of years. Um, unfortunately, the downside of that is uh, a lot of the products that I have purchased from them, um, there's a significant portion that are no longer available at the store. Uh, I do know that she, uh, there's, I, I believe that she allows other shops to uh, sell her products so there could be an off chance that you may be able to find it someplace other than the stamp market itself. Um, as you can see here's my little window. Here's my little envelope window. Actually this is the exact envelope that I used as the base for my envelope tag pocket and for my envelope, or the window on my envelope, I created kind of like a peekaboo shaker. Um, I think it went a little overboard. It's very, very full. Not only with the sequins, but layering on top of the window, uh, which hence the peekaboo. Uh, it sounds right. It sounds like I planned it that way, but actually I didn't. I just get carried away with anything that has uh, layers. I love layers. Um, I can't, I don't know. If you look at my cards, my cards are very dimensional. Uh, for the, the frame that I use to go around the window of the envelope is the mini slimline basics that are from the stamp market. I believe these are still available and I just use these two right here. And I nested them inside. Uh, I nested them and created this little frame. The heart is the handcrafted heart. This is from the stamp market, but I, I believe that she has recently clearanced this one out. Um, I'm not sure, I haven't checked. Uh, I just, I love it. It has, if she still has it available, if it is on clearance, then she still has it in stock. It's just a really nice set to have. And when she puts stuff on clearance, she goes deep with the clearance. So hopefully it'll still be there. The Blossom, the Blossom is from her recently released Hey Lovely Blooms. I don't know if I can get all of that in here. I'm not a videographer, but this is an amazing set. Uh, you can layer them, and this is what I chose to do to layer, but 
I got some that are, if you look in my little Starlight container, uh, there's some in here that are layered, but I don't know if you can see the little teeny ones in here, but they're single blossoms, and they're just, they're amazing. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I see me getting a lot of use out of that particular die set. Uh, on the flip side of this, I created a little tuck spot using a chipboard tag that I've hoarded probably as long as I've hoarded this paper. Uh, this paper at one time was my absolute favorite. And uh, so it was really hard for me to cut into, but I have got so much paper, it's time for me to stop looking at them and to start using them. Uh, I told myself I will not buy any more paper until I use up the paper that I currently have in my stash. Now this uh, chipboard tag is stationary. It's adhered down to the tag itself. I don't know if you can see, but I created like a little vellum pocket. And this is just something to cover that pocket. I didn't like all of the empty space. So that's why this got layered on here. The heart is the, uh, the lattice heart die from the stamp market. Love this. It's beautiful. It's great for layering. Uh, there's so many things I want to do with this. Uh, it only if time permits. But this lattice heart is still available on the stamp market. I on the stamp market website, I do believe. Uh, the little circle is the scallop circle frames, and I just use this. I like to use these as wreaths, and so I created just a little decorative spot right here. Again, more of the Hey Lovely Bloom flower, another lovely bloom flower here with the little leaves. Um, tags are tucked in here. I only got, I have two tags tucked in there. Uh, the pink ribbon here is from Perry Ann's Art and Things. It's Sorry Ribbon, and uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. And she's got, I believe, four colors. I love it. It's beautiful. Uh, Perry Ann's is another one of my favorite places to shop. And here are some more tags or hearts because I love all things hearts. And it's the handcrafted heart from uh, the stamp market. But if you're anything like me, you've probably got heart dies coming out your ears, but just a fun, very fun uh, envelope tag pocket. Uh, I had so much fun making this. Uh, if I haven't said it before, thank you, thank you, Kathy at Kathy's Garden for the inspiration. Um, it gives me an, something to do with these envelopes rather than tossing them aside. But I love it. I had fun. I hope if you're someone who likes to create uh, something different, something that you would not normally do. I'm more of a card maker and uh, but I just I, I really enjoyed how this came out. I had fun making it. Uh, and isn't that why we get into this craft anyways, is for the relaxation, to create something that we can give to a friend and spread the love of the craft and spread kindness because we need so much more kindness in our world today. And thank you. Thank you for having a look. And if the video comes out poorly, Please forgive me, I'm using my cell phone and it, even though I said it's Sunday, it is like 2 o'clock Sunday morning, so the lighting is pretty, it, it sucks pretty bad. But again, thank you. Uh, if you 
are inspired or if you feel so inclined to stop by Kathy's Garden on YouTube, watch her process video from this past Tuesday. Um, it's called the Easy Envelope Tag Pocket. She has a Facebook group and she, if you, if you do create, she said to use hashtag tag me Tuesday on Instagram or share it on her Facebook group. Have a wonderful Sunday. Thank you for stopping by and I hope to see you soon. Bye.